Hello YouTubers, Corey here with iProducts and I'm, today I'm going to do a quick tutorial on iOS 6. I'm not going to do too many things, but if I forget to mention something worth mentioning, leave it in the comment section below, rate, subscribe, like my page on Facebook. So I'm going to start by saying that they've integrated Facebook in with most everything on the phone. You can slide down to the notification center, they have a tap to post right there, along with the usual tap to tweet. They've kept the weather widget and the stocks widget. Calendar is now integrated with Facebook also. All of your friends' birthdays will be in your calendar. Let's go over to contacts. All your contacts are updated with Facebook, so they have their email, but all of their emails will be in their contact information. Now for photos. You can tap on camera roll. You can look at your picture. This is the iPhone 5 white. And they have this new icon set when you want to share something or even have a few more options down here. Facebook is also integrated with your photos. Facebook is integrated with your photo stream. And next there's the App Store. Apple has redesigned it with the banners up top for featured. They have the same new and noteworthy. They have the same what's hot. They have added categories to the featured page. You clap, tap that and the tab pops up. You have your top charts right here. Your genius. They have the same search tab. And they have the updates and purchased tab. The phone app is not that much different except that it has a new style for typing on the keypad. The numbers look different. It's very, very slick, smooth, nice, fast. Give that a try. A new app called Passbook has been added to iOS 6. It keeps your cards, gift cards, tickets, coupons for anything you can imagine that has a barcode. You can tap on one, see Starbucks. These are all fake, just to let you know. They, uh, you can download them from PassSource.com and you can download fake ones just to test them out. The when iOS 6 officially is released, you'll be able to get your ver your own cards into Passbook, but for now you can't. So swipe that down. They have a members section for membership cards, and they have blockbuster cards, they have pretty much any card with a barcode. And say you don't use Blockbuster anymore, you can click this info. Click the garbage can and when you click delete it deletes like a paper shredder. It's a very nice and smooth animation. And that's passbook. iOS six is the first iOS that does not have the YouTube pre installed with the IPSW. Uh, so Google has made an application only for the iPhone for now. I'm not sure when they will be releasing one for the iPad. And it is also available on the iTouch. Uh, go ahead and check this out real quick. Now the YouTube app is pretty much the same as same layout as everything else. It's the same as the Facebook. Uh, you can just come over here and you have your menu. These are your categories. You can select sign in. And something I really like about the YouTube app is it's fast, slick, it rarely never glitches out. And when you search, you can even search with your voice. This is a very nice add-on. So go ahead and check that out. They've added black navigation bars to the camera. I think it looks very smooth, very slick. They've added no options for the iPhone 3GS, but on the iPhone 5, iPhone 4S, and iPhone 4, there will be a panorama view. You can take pictures like that. Um, it's pretty much the same. The only difference is it has the black navigation bar. Well, that's the camera. Apple has completely rebuilt the settings app. As you can see, airplane mode, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth are now in the same section. They've added a do not disturb button that when you turn on, it puts a little moon icon next to the time. That allows you to not get emails, no messages, no nothing that can interact with anybody else if you're sleeping or you just don't want to be bothered you can go ahead and turn that back off um, they've clumped together general sounds brightness and wallpaper and privacy uh, this will allow you to see which apps are, what are using what like location services 
you can see which apps are using it just as normal uh, or contacts Twitter or photos or you get the picture so it has the usual iCloud I, iCloud section you register with iCloud mail contacts calendars you can add your emails just as usual notes it has fonts you can update your default account reminders pretty much the same thing phone same there's no differences nothing different in the messaging app maps has been changed to miles or kilometers always in English and label you can change the label size Safari you can turn all this you can change it to the search engine you can change autofill it's a very nice um, autofill is very nice you can add your info right here and while you're on the browser you can type in cor which is my name Corey Kircher um, you can I, I can type in co and then it'll pop up Corey Kircher and I can just click on it and as simple as that um, you can save your name and password so if you're logging into Facebook on the browser um, it'll give you an option to save password or never for the site or cancel so you can go ahead and go back um, this new section right here iTunes and App Stores music videos photos and camera uh, iTunes and App Stores in a new tab but it has all things that we all recognize and these aren't new just clumped together music everything is the same in here same with video and photos and camera um, Twitter and Facebook are, have options to configure which Twitter you post from the notifications and your pictures and that's the settings app for you now they've added a few features to the mail app I can go in here uh, go ahead and select uh, Facebook um, and this flag option you can flag it and a little flag pops up there a flag icon is on the side of your um, email and flagged right here this is where your important emails are that you flag um, they've also added a VIP section so you can click on this and add a email or a contact and that contacts emails will all go right here um, so you don't have to dig through your other emails just to find this so that's pretty much all they've updated with the email app now in the Safari app you can you notice that when you turn sideways there are six instead of five icons and you can click these arrows and it becomes full screen with only three tiles which are the forward button the back button and the un full screen option um, you can do everything you can do just very much much more bigger for the small screen of the iPhone 3GS and click that and the options tab is again has the tiles just like everything else you can add to home screen um, you can share this website on Facebook share it on Twitter print it add to reading list and if you add to reading list when you disconnect from Wi-Fi you can go back later and read this right there see saved and so that's the Safari app so thanks for watching guys this has been Corey with iProducts Again, if I have forgotten anything or if there's anything worth mentioning, let me know in the comment section below. I'll get to that immediately. So like my Facebook page, iProducts. Um, follow me on Twitter. Sub subscribe, like, please. It would help me out a lot if you'd like to see more videos. Thank you. Bye.